Thanks, Goose. Yeah. yeah, nice work. But now it's time to review Rive. Pew pew! In Rive, you are a tough-talking, hard-as-nails scrapper, looking for loot in all the wrong places. Only moments into your scavenge, you find yourself at the mercy of a psychotic robot who uses you to test out a variety of deadly security devices. Your primary objective soon changes from salvaging to escaping as you shoot your way out and hack into robots to turn them into useful allies. This is a really fast twin-stick shooter platformer. Do you like the serrated edges slicing you to smithereens? I don't feel it yet. With a good sense of humour, varied gameplay and enemies that just keep on coming. Yeah, and those enemies are as deadly as ants. One on one they're okay, but when they swarm... <laughs> uh, that's why I always advise on keeping a good laser on standby, Goose. Yes, there are some great weapons in Rive. And you really have to keep moving fast. Dodging and shooting like crazy, it's hectic. I really appreciated being able to hack those other bots to get a helping hand. The campaign, which lasts about six hours, kept me playing right until the end. Despite the difficulty, I just didn't want to give up. And there were parts where it was extremely difficult. I died so many times. Many, many, many times. Oh, affirmative. But fortunately, when you die, you never have to start too far back from where you were, thanks to a very generous checkpoint system. So it isn't as painful as some games can be. Ah, uh, except when you die in a section that begins with a line of dialogue, because then when you respawn, you have to listen to that dialogue again and again. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. How much more of this do I have to resist? How much more of this do I have to resist? How much more of this do I have to resist? Ah, oh, and it just goes on like that. Uh. Rive is not a very long game, but once you finish the campaign, you'll unlock the single credit and speed run modes, which are an even greater challenge, and that adds some pretty good longevity to the game. Rive is also full of pop culture references, which I just love. This is bad country. At one point, you're dodging Tetris blocks, and the relationship between the robots even had me thinking of Portal at times. And the service-oriented AI monomodule driving this place. Another AI bot cliche. Explosions, lasers, robots, what's not to like? Well, this is a game that evokes nostalgia for classic old arcade games, but it's also just really fun in its own right. I'm giving it four out of five rubber chickens. Yeah, aside from that difficulty, because it is really tough, I had a lot of fun here as well, so I'm giving it four.